Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to show images in the SSRS report depending upon the values. We will create a tabular report, we will add the images to the SSRS report and then finally we will show them by using expressions. So let me show you a SQL Server table I am using for this report. So this is a select query and this select query has some first name, last name and product name and some region, country state uh, and city uh, one of the column is called uh, product name if you see that here we have been selling uh, t tv cell phones uh, laptops and computers now what we want to do we want to create a report uh, for this uh, data and then uh, one of the column uh, that's where we want to show the pictures of tv cell phone laptop computer so i'm going to go out and take uh, this whole query and then create a report then we will uh, import some images in the report and show them Go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools uh, and uh, we have already created a uh, SSRS uh, project. Uh, in the SSRS project, uh, we have a shared data source uh, that is pointing to the sales uh, database. Uh, that's where our table is. Uh, so if you see here, it is in this sales database. Uh, if you don't have shared data source, uh, you can go ahead and create uh, by right clicking here and uh, add uh, new data source. Uh, now go to the reports uh, and click here add and then uh, new item and uh, select a report that will create empty report uh, so we are going to call this one uh, import image report empty report will be created uh, click on the data sources uh, add a data source uh, here we can uh, add a new embedded data source or use a shared one so i'm going to call uh, use the shared one let's call this one ds sales and now select the shared data source from the drop down so it is sales hit ok next part uh, use a data set uh, that's uh, the result set uh, or uh, records returned by the query so we are going to call this one d set uh, and uh, call the uh, total sale and uh, here it is going to be embedded in this report and uh, this is a shared data source uh, we are going to use and now that's all we have now hit ok right click here insert a table and once the table is inserted uh, you have to bring some fields that you want to show for your report so we are going to bring sale person first name sale per person last name and product uh, name and if you want something else we can uh, put that together but let's consider these are the only three columns uh, you want to show on your report uh, now the next part uh, let's uh, give some uh, background color and uh, so our report look better let's make this one a large so we will have some space next part what we want to do for each of that uh, product we want to add a picture right uh, here so this is very common scenario where I'm, I'm showing you let's add a picture here but this is an example you can use maybe you are show, showing some performance of uh, uh, let's say we have a uh, sold the sold price or maybe sold items and then you want to use that in expression and say okay if it is more than 500 you want to show, show some picture excellent picture or a medal so those kind of things can be done so if th this scenario is more like learning but the pictures you will be seen a lot more in your scenario will be depending upon your requirements so, so let's go ahead and add pictures here so add an image those can be your company logos you will be adding and then showing them in different places or maybe departmental logos or headings so let's uh, go ahead and add that so in our case we have TV I have taken some pictures next image I'm gonna add that add image and uh, let's call this one cell phone so I have downloaded already the cell phone picture so this is cell phone picture and then we have a laptop picture so I'm going to show you guys laptop picture and then we will have a computer picture so I'm adding all those images in the report they're not coming from the database they were saved on my desktop and I just added them to the report so once we deploy this report this these images will be going with the report itself you don't have to do anything so save the report next part click uh, here and add a new column on the right so once that column is added let's add this column I'm gonna make this one a little bit uh, bigger so our picture look better and uh, here just insert uh, image item so once we insert the image item let me see we have image here so select that part don't do anything just uh, say okay once uh, this is added uh, you can go ahead and uh, 
change the properties and expression and all those kind of things. So we can go to go back to the image properties and now here we will go to the FX. So first of all we were selecting these images from the it is they are embedded in the report so select embedded and then hit FX and here we will write our expressions. So let's go to the field here we are using the product name that's what we are using and I'm saying I'm going to use a switch function switch function is like case statement so it is it will check the very first expression if it is true it will give us that value otherwise it will go to the next expression and keep checking all the all of them and providing us the values so if in this case I'm saying switch first uh, field product name is equal to if it is equal to TV I want to show the TV so the image name is also TV so that's why I'm saying if this is true this part is true then use the TV part so is you you're going to use TV then I'm gonna put comma and saying okay if uh, it is not equal to TV but it is equal to cell phone so in cell phone if the value is cell phone for this uh, field then I want to show you the cell phone so let's go ahead and put the cell phone cell phone images this one see the names here cell phone there is no space so that's what we put then put the double quotes comma paste that field again and now we are saying if it is laptop and then uh, what we want to show we want to show laptop so we will say laptop the last part uh, is uh, if it is a computer so paste that field again and now we will say if it is computer then uh, show me the computer image so it will keep working like a case uh, so it will whatever the expression will be true for that value then it is going to show us uh, now in this case once once again let's take a look so first it is going to check for the TV so if it will find uh, okay the value for this uh, product name is TV it is going to show us TV if not it's going to go to the next one check if it is cell phone if it will be cell phone it will show a cell phone image if it is not it is going to go to the next one so where whichever will be the true value it will find it and then uh, show the expressions once expression is uh, true this will sh be showing uh, this image to us so that's how you will be writing I'm going to copy this one just for my uh, scenarios I will paste this one in the video description so you can take a look now let's go ahead and click OK and here we have the size so you can say original size fit to the size and fit uh, proportional and clip so you can set uh, according to your choice so you can always uh, do uh, padding option left and right uh, and change that as well so visibility yes we want to show action we don't want to do anything in the border we want to have a border let's say we want to put the border around it so now we are good let's preview the report so if you will preview the report you will see Amir Shahzad has sold the TV in seven hundred dollars uh, and then this is the TV picture so next is a, a cell phone you can see cell phone TV and this is a computer with the Najaf Ali computer three hundred dollar and then uh, you can see the laptop is uh, here as well somebody has um, okay we have laptop we have TV we have cell phone and we have a computer itself so this is a computer and uh, this is our laptop and uh, this is our cell phone so those four images are coming uh, correct now you you have choices uh, whatever you want to do you can go to image properties and uh, as I said uh, okay if you want to say fit to size uh, you can do that so take a look uh, whatever works perfect for you so uh, in the, those cases you can make changes uh, to the uh, properties of uh, this uh, image so thanks very much for watching this video and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video